Two White Hill soldiers and a bomb. They'll be different for every person that comes in. But really? What? They killed my family. What? For what? Oh my god. My sister, she. Are you kidding? She was only eight years old. Oh, I'm so excited. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Oh Your my god, creature! Swift. Some will call it vengeance. No <laughs> doubt the White Hills will wow. claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of oh, treachery and betrayal. Great you all know how I feel about maggots. Fallen in time such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Oh, yeah, uh, Violet. Bloodborne. You gotta get a PS4. Has to be PS4. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I'm not saying it's not, like, medicinal, I'm just saying, you all know how I feel about maggots. <laughs> I was fine up until he started dropping the maggots in the wound, and I was like, oh, I so started to please. I look at the window. <laughs> Go look at the window. Oh my god, it's a window! <laughs> the Ironwood Grove. So I'm curious, does anybody know, back in these days, did they have the capacity to make big panes of glass? Or no, were they I'm all sure. leaded because they could only make small mm. bits? The strongest wood in the known world. Put some bigger back. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. 
Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best There goes my, uh, my devotion. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Oh, God. I'm not looking at that again. Fuck. <laughs> Creature, thanks for the refollow. The painting does look very DI ish. <sighs> this might help. Vintage King Cat, no. thank you for the you follow. See that? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. <laughs> Although, if a King Cat is vintage, I'm not sure I want to eat it. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. <laughs> Teaches you green herbs are good for health. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I. I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his practicing loot. Practicing his loot? The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Never mind. I'll admit, you do seem better. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Keep moving, I need to see you walk. That's, um... Is that my uncle? Feeling all right? 
Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, <laughs> do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You ask too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Game of Thrones heavy breathing. <laughs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold his sword. He knows nothing of how to lead. Men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this will accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not Fuck. in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem Maybe fair, I'll meet a... But it is maybe meet best. a hot redhead that, you know, will teach me how to... Lick junk. <laughs> Game of Boners! This is Game of Boners. I'll see you have plenty of food. We have much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Err. I don't really think I have much of a choice. 
I have nowhere to go. I could argue, and then I would probably end up going there anyway. I'd gladly so, drive a sword whatever. through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and. and I at Roderick's side, but. It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting. Oh my for god, creature, stop saying faggot. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Lady Forrester asked. But I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. A ranger. <clears throat> no spoilers. Iron from ice. Iron <laughs> from ice. Remember, you represent House Forest. <laughs> Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor no spoilers, and dignity Dragon Lord. of the house. Gosh. We will see each other again. A heart tree? Who knows? I don't know. North Grove. Dragons? Maybe? Something magical. Good evening, dirt driver. Garrett, wait! A ranger? Merka? Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's giving me something. Be safe. The record, I didn't I didn't show my boobs. It came up on the pussy can. I stood up. See? <laughs> Because there's a cam over here for the cat when he comes to sit down. It's a pussy cam. Ethan? Long ago. If he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win! Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried <laughs> you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, Maeve. I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. 
Oh, Miss Garrett. Oh my God, preacher! I don't know what You're he terrible. did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. A milksop! Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not too Damn milk drinkers! Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Huh. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, Lord, the Lord in training. training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Seriously, you still see her in this game? She is. I she's, like no, the way you, you can are. say it. She's a cunt. She's a total cunt. What's up, Zastic? I know a Lord has many responsibilities. She is you a cunt. You don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a Lord. We'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you, you can secretly do feel anything you want. Felt bad for her? Oh. Why? Everything Why? You have to do as you say. So I could have all the She's things a I bitch. want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord, a proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? That's what they said. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Repeat I assume he asked feet. for lemon cakes? <laughs> uh. Jaffe rapes Cersei? Oh my god! Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. She's also ruthless and heartless and merciless. They showed up on an ounce. You can do what's Lord best White for your family and still not be a complete I cunt hole. You explain to Lord Ethan why they're here. Business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is, was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only coward and dead men roll over. 